All right, so on the last episode of the Fab Forms, I worked on the downpipe for Sick Fox. Had to stop because I didn't have a V-band and I had to make it in two sections. Went over some of the new turbo goodies for the Bibster. And we got to listen to some Hustle Standard. So yeah, on this episode, I wanna to try to finish up this downpipe on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta put a V-band on it, a bend, stainless tip. We gotta cut the tip off on the other side of the fender well, kind of make it look presentable. And then there's a little, there's a little modification needs to be done to the induction side. So we'll start on that. So this, this is the part in these builds where it gets starts to get expensive. Let me start. Start adding V-bands and clamps and all that kind of stuff. It's really a lot of these little parts that kind of nickel and dime you to death. Just got the flanges. So, I'm just gonna mount this end and this end. And these bad boys, you gotta be careful, especially on the aluminum ones, because you'll warp them pretty easily. What I like to do is actually Try to clamp everything together so it kind of holds it, kind of disperses that heat a little bit. And then I'll just tack it now, but when I go back and weld it, you kind of want to move fast too. Try to minimize the amount of heat that you put in these things. All right, so I've been messing with these pieces on this downpipe, and I think I've got them all kind of fit the way I want to. Uh, I use a technique that I've never shown on the channel. I kind of wanted to show you. It's not like a tip, more of a technique, but I feel like maybe somebody could use it. So on this particular setup, I mount this V-band on that tubing about like that. But if you look at this, I've kind of baloney cut this, right? So it's not a perfect 90 within this tube itself. It's kind of baloney cut. I'm just kind of cheating the bend a little bit is what I'm doing. 
And sometimes it's hard to get a flat cut all the way around when you're kind of doing this and you're kind of baloney cutting this thing. And so what I like to do is use one of these. So this is just a laser level. So you can flip it on and it's gonna shoot a laser vertical and horizontal. This one's got a crossing point on it. So what I like to do is just figure out on the inside how much I need to take off. So in this particular instance, it was like an inch. So like, it used to be like this. So I like measured in an inch and then what I did is you can take it and you can line it up on this line on the bottom and then just roll the top in until it matches up with that inch and then you can kind of mark that thing around and then flip it over, do the same thing on the other side, kind of mark it around and yeah, then cut it and then clean it up and you're usually pretty close to a flat cut right off the get. Yeah, I guess more of a technique than a tip, but I really like to have these things handy, self-leveling. Uh, these work great too for like, um, if you're building a chassis on the floor and you want that thing to be perfectly level and you don't have a chassis table, you can set one of these things down, drop points, take measurements, you got a flat, yeah. And it'll actually make a, a laser line 360 degrees too, and it's perfectly level, levels itself. So anyway, there you go. Now, let's tack this stuff together and make sure it still fits. All right, so, so after lots of cutting and fitting and making sure everything's right, I think I've got the tubes done. So this is the lower section here. Upper section, O2 bung, everything's tacked in. Now, just the long process of getting everything welded up. There you go, day two in the books on this build. Got it finished up, very happy with how it turned out. Uh, there was just barely enough room in like four spots for this thing to fit, so fits like a glove. Couldn't be any tighter, really. And I'd mentioned that the next video is gonna be a Bibster build, Bibster video, bib, bib, Bibster build video, but I wanna get this thing finished up. Figured I'd film it since I was doing the work anyway. I'm gonna try to just document what I'm doing here in the shop, let you guys hang out with me, and see these beautiful rides. So now, Bibster Build Goose video coming very soon. There's some things I wanna do on the goose. Matter of fact, I got it kind of jacked up back there right now, preparing it, letting it marinate, letting it think about what I'm gonna do to it. I guess, anything else? Hmm. Oh, one other thing. So I showed you the little laser, laser level trick. You could also do that with water. So I've seen people take like, water, put some food coloring in it, then you can kind of dip that tube down in there at whatever angle you want, 
pull it out and it's gonna leave a ring on there. And you just cut the ring, good to go. There you go.